Morning and welcome to Espionada Square for this first game of the third day of the fourth international schools tournament. Just missed about three balls, but the first one was very dramatic. It's a wicket first ball. This is uh, the Montessori School from Lucknow versus the Ebenezer International School. The Ebenezer School batting first, but losing a wicket to the very first delivery from the tall Seema Imran. That's gone for a big shot. That's up in the air. That'll take a bit of catching. It's caught. That's the second one down. Good start here for, for Lucknow. The Montessori School in the north of India, close to the border with Nepal. I'm told they have a 5,000-seater stadium at that school, so you'd expect cricketing pedigree. They're showing it early on here with these two early breakthroughs. And Ebenezer suffering those two early wickets. Need to settle the nerves here, build a partnership if they're going to post a competitive total. This is the key round of games as all the teams are vying for the quarterfinals on Friday, which will see the group winners plus the best second placed team across all groups going through to those those games and the remaining teams playing for position so in one again a full toss ball possibly a little bit of swing but the Espionada ground they're using a rubber ball due to the vicinity of cars in the neighbouring car park some players have taken a bit of time to adjust uh, using hard balls at the other venues the marina ground and the Songy Beach This is a Group B game, which is currently being led by yeah. Goenka, Indian yeah. school, who have got two wins out of two, so they're favourites to get through from Group B, and they are playing in this afternoon's game here at Espionada against the South African Hellenism school, Saheti. Excitement there, but nothing from the umpire. That's the end of an eventful first over. Still early morning here in Espionada. The tourist coach is yet to appear. As we go through the day, the spectator numbers will gradually pick up as they settle into the cafes which surround this beautiful and historic ground in Corfu town for those unfamiliar with the location we're about 70 metres or so from the sea a historic fort just to my left in the commentary position and then to my right the network of narrow streets of Corfu town full of restaurants 
souvenir shops selling local specialities. In the other games this morning, uh, Joburg, uh, Joburg Cricket Club are playing Jane. That should be a well-contested game. That's at the Marina Ground. And at Masongi, Corfu Schools Academy. They've done very well again this year. The local players are playing Jane School B, B team. And as I said, after this afternoon's round of fixtures... We will know who is going to contest those semi-finals on Friday. That's a wonderful catch from the bowler. <coughs> Check drive. Just stuck out an arm. Caught it maybe an inch above the ground. And very pleased he is with that catch. And his teammates high fives. Back slaps all round. And this is a very disappointing start for Ebenezer, who are already three down with only two runs on the board. Montessori School Lucknow have a chance to get into that as the best place second team but that could all of course come down to run rate or will be worked out by the boffins back at Masongi after this afternoon's games so they've certainly made a good start here this morning uh, three early wickets and Ebenezer batting lineup is dazed and confused after those early wickets. They really need to dig in here. Take a bit of sting out of this bowling attack so that they can they can build a competitive total. Tries to work that off his legs. be a wide it is just too wide outside the off stump and not taken cleanly by the keeper go through for a bye Powerful shot through the covers, but uh, it was stopped by extra cover, just a single. That's a better shot, just waited on it, lent head over the ball, just played it to mid wicket for a single. Lots of noise from the Montessori School. They host their own international schools tournament, which is due to be played in December, up in the uh, beautiful northern Indian city of Lucknow. And, uh, it's just played off his toes, but trickled out onto the onside. It's great to see these 
These boys come from different parts of the world to Corfu, learn about its history and culture, meet compatriots from other schools, and hopefully build relationships and bonds. It's just gone past the edge as you look to steer down to third man. And memories. They will treasure in years to come. It's a good ball. It's just outside off stump, lent forward, defended onto the onside. Dramatic start here, and two overs gone. Six for three. Powerful shot that could be the first boundary. Goes out towards the cars. And the umpire with a flourish signals the four. So that'll be a relief for Ebenezer. First boundary of their innings. The worst all possible starts with that wicket. The very first delivery of the match. Need to recover now with these two. Played out to mid off, think about two. To keep it to one in the end. Just a reminder this is a Group B game which features uh, three Indian schools Ebenezer and Montessori playing now. Uh, Goenka, who we will see this afternoon and who are. Full of confidence after two wins out of two. And Saheti School, the South African school. Who beat Ebenezer on the opening day of the tournament. But then lost to Montessori yesterday. Dangerous shot there, just shuffled across his stumps and played off his pads. a strange shot looked to, didn't look to be short enough to play the pull shot but uh, went for the horizontal shot nonetheless but wasn't able to connect as didn't bounce above stump, stump height let's hit that down to uh, mid on for a single A full toss and has been hit. One bounce, four. Full toss since came out the back of the hand, I think, and powerfully hit square with the wicket. Just one bounce before. Just bounced just before though. Cafes with the wicker chairs. Out there at mid wicket, which really are in the firing line. If a batsman gets his eye in on this, this ground.
That's nicely played, just uh, short of a length delivery, just waited on it and uh, turned it off his hip for a single. And these two beginning to recover this Ebenezer innings after those the loss of those early wickets. For those of you who didn't join us yesterday, uh, my name's Tim Brooks, I'm based in England and uh, ambassador for this tournament, a cricket writer and commentator. Welcome to you, wherever you are watching in the world, whether you're in Greece or perhaps in India, following your team or family member or friend. Very good to have you with us. That's the fourth wicket gone, I think. Uh, look to open his starts, play a pull shot, missed, and just hit the top of uh, middle and off. And uh, more celebrations for the Montessori School as take their fourth wicket before the end of the fourth over. Unlucky with the batsman, again, not quite short enough for that stroke. Had a warning earlier in the over. So, after a period of what well, only proved to be a brief period of recovery for Ebenezer, they're now in trouble again. It's got up to 18 for four. Uh, losing wickets far too frequently. It's uh, chipped nicely, actually, down to uh, fine leg or deep backward square and turn for two. That was well run. Kikiba takes one on the arm there as it. Fast return. Just left that outside off stump. Found a good good rhythm there, the bowler. Always good for a bowler's rhythm, of course, if you can get some early wickets. Gets the confidence up, blood pumping. Encouragement from your teammates, too. Struck him on the pad, but I uh, don't think that'll be given. It's not. Ooh, hands on head, some of the fielders there, they think that was close. Airily into the leg side. Just misfielded. Allows them to come back for a comfortable two. Just played off the toes in the air. Mid wicket but fell way short of the fielder, so no problem there. him on the pad might be going down leg side I think that was the umpire's view despite the loss of these wickets still going for their shots 2020 seems like a short format but when you fall down in the fifth over you've got plenty of time to go and we saw yesterday that even a total around 70-75 mark can be competitive on this pitch where the batsman most of the batsmen have found it difficult to adjust to the the rubber ball which is used 
at uh, Espinada Ground, which uh, can be difficult to drive. It just pops up off the surface. We saw a lot of catches from drives yesterday. Sensitive pull stroke, so it doesn't connect. Ends up striking him in midriff. He <laughs> just practiced a back foot defensive after that attempted pull. A little misunderstanding here by the batsman, but they'll be safe. That might twenty two for four after five overs. That's a nice shot, just down to mid off for a comfortable single. Had some good technique in that in that stroke. Kept his head still. Picked up the length nicely. His partner a bit more <laughs> frenetic at the crease, looking to use his feet to give himself room for those powerful cross batted strokes. Hasn't quite come off for him so far. Another attempt there, but again doesn't connect. Lots of effort for not much result. A lot of excitement from the fielding team. I so thought that could have possibly been an LBW claim. The umpire remain unruffled. A few more people starting to mill around. Again, a cross batted stroke. Somehow that's possibly should have been run out there just to fumble by mid on. is starting to arrive just before 10 o'clock in the morning here in Corfu. Yesterday we were fortunate enough to see the end of the Easter celebrations. Brass bands, long proud tradition in Corfu, were parading just to our right. Just uh, scooped off his legs into the mid wicket and uh, scampered through for a single. Lots of encouragement from the uh, teachers of both schools here. A little bit of advice on field placings, encouragement. It's outside off, left alone. No slips in place, just uh, quite a conventional field. Third man, fine leg. Square leg, point, extra cover, cover, mid off, mid on. That's playing his leg side, it could be out, it's just out of his grasp, just clipped it towards square leg. It's a fielder there, but uh, 
always going to be a very difficult chance. Would have had to leap into the air. Take the single. Not, not afraid of the aerial route, these Ebenezer batsmen. Showing good urgency. Just need to stay at the crease. Make sure they use all of these 20 overs available. And uh, that is a wicket. Takes uh, to top of middle stump. And again, the batsman charged his arm a bit in the previous over. Looking to back away. Looking for those cross-batted strokes. I think for that ball should have possibly been on the front foot defending. But uh, live by the sword, you die by the sword. Brings Lock Mean to the crease. After the fall of the fifth wicket. You know, the Montessori Sorry School look now continuing to dominate this morning matchup. Another all Indian affair, as we saw yesterday afternoon. Some tense, dramatic games yesterday. The afternoon one going into the 19th over. One through for a single there. We'll see what that's given us. Leg buys. Sun hasn't broken through yet. It's one overcast. Bird, birds swirling above our heads as they were yesterday. Chiming song. It's strangled there with W shout. But I think he probably got inside edge onto that. Pause here as the fielding team move themselves around. New bowler Karan, short. Looks like uh, this is going to be a bit of wrist spin, or finger spin. Indeed, it's a little bit of turn, just straightened, uh, angled in and straightened. And beat the uh, cross batted swipe from the batsman. Come on again bit of loop on that and it does get a connection this time that could be close so not out so it's a good good work that's square leg good return throw and the keeper took the bails off but the batsman just home probably by a couple of inches just as is sensible bunning the bat in So for those viewers who haven't watched much cricket before, this is a 20 over a side contest. And a good score on this wicket is in the region of 100, or between about 80 and 110. Uh, quite a competitive score. Although one team on this wicket got 309. It rained fours and sixes. Let's see, strong shot down the ground. But, uh, 
Well stopped. That's a good ball, it's just gone past the edge. And the keeper took the bails off, but the back foot grounded behind the line. It's good to see variety in a bowling lineup. Just seen um, pace bowling so far, but uh, Karam's come in with some spin. Always a fascinating contest between spin bowler and a batsman as the bowler looks to deceive the batsman with variations of flight and spin and speed and the batsman looking to unsettle the rhythm of the bowler by using feet to get to the pitch of the ball and using a range of shots to manoeuvre the field around always a compelling spectacle in the game particularly And both are at the top of their form. A game of cat and mouse between ball and bat. One of the engrossing features of watching the wonderful game of cricket. Karen again, slightly short of length, plays a straight drive with the back foot. Fielded well off his own bowling. Play it cool, says the coach. Well, that's not played particularly cool. That's a powerfully hit through the onside. Despite a slight fumble, they restrict, restrict it to one, and that's the end of the over. Eight overs gone, 30 for five. Two overs before the mid-innings drinks interval. And Ebenezer will be hoping to have some profitable overs here, perhaps an eight or a ten, and push this score up towards 50. Got an injury here for one of the Montessori fielders. The 12th man's going to come on. Just like an ankle, perhaps a strained muscle. It's Prab. Looks like his game's injured. Uh, his game's ended, I should say. Just seems to have uh, tweaked a muscle. So, 30 for 5 off 8 overs. Ebenezer, that's, a, that's hit powerfully into the leg side, but uh, well stopped. Restricts it to a single. Just a full toss, just giving the batsman the opportunity to free his arms. an ambitious shot quite a full pitch delivery but rock back onto the back foot looking to uh, play it behind square on the leg side didn't connect uh, perhaps didn't pick the length up that's better just waited on it just uh, played it gently into the Towards square leg. 
and they took the single. So the fourth international schools tournament in Corfu uh, consists of three groups, groups A, B and C, four teams in each. And the top of those groups after the group games goes through into the semi-finals along with the best placed second team. So that's the equation today across the games at this ground and the Marina ground and Misongi Beach. Those teams looking to secure a semi-final place and give them a chance of getting into the final on a Saturday afternoon. The holders of the trophy are Johannesburg Hope Village School, who we saw here yesterday afternoon. Just tickled fine. Core single. See if that came off bat or not. Yes, it did. And that's the end of the ninth over. One more over to go before the drinks interval. As Ebenezer looked to get up towards 50. Thirty-five for five off nine overs. This tournament very well supported here in Corfu, not only by.